Hello, this is Mr. Bing again. I think it's the third recording of the day. It's February 1st. Some of your classmates are here. I mean, if you are in my class um, and you are not here, well, then some of your classmates are here. It is February 1st, first day of a new semester. This is Principles of Engineering. This is a third block class. If we were at school, it would be uh, it would be third block, which I think is, um, I don't know what time third block is. Um, but uh, we should be in school, but we're not. And so while we're at home, we're doing online school and I'm explaining how the Schoology course page works. I've already sort of laid out the Schoology course page in a previous video. I laid out the announcements in a previous video. I'm not gonna go over those again, but I'm gonna show you that every time you click on, on one of these, at least in the fashion that I do, um, you can open them up into a new tab. And then back to start here. Uh, this video is about the Project Lead the Way Principles of Engineering course page. When you click on that within Schoology, it won't open, you get a frowning page. And so you click here to open it up into a new tab. So now I've got the course page from Schoology. I've got the announcements from, from me. And now I have the course page from Project Lead the Way, which you, this should look familiar to you. At least the style should look familiar because if you're in this class, Principles of Engineering, that means you were in the first class, which is Introduction to Engineering Design. This is course two. And then you might remember there's this side panel with all the assignments listed here. And the assignment, according to the announcements, is 1.1.2. So today's assignment and tomorrow's and the next day, because it's going to take us a few days to get this rolling. The uh, first assignment is not 1.1.1. It's not 1.1.1. It's 1.1.2. So 1.1.2. We are going to skip some things on the way along the way. So here's your first assignment um, on the Project Lead the Way web page, all the assignments are here. All the assignments have a, have a very particular style. Um, and I'm going to try to do the assignments more completely than I ever have. Um, and the reason is that pandemic has taught me that it's better to do fewer assignments and to do them completely rather than try to do all the assignments and only do them halfway. So that's what I'm going to try to do. If you felt in the first course that we just did too much too fast, Maybe this experience will be better. I'm, tr I'm trying to make this work better for these circumstances. And maybe when school goes back to normal, I'll just keep doing it this way. I really have learned a lot in this process. Learned a lot about letting go. You know, being a control freak doesn't work during pandemic. Anyway, activity 1.1.2, simple machine practice problems. Sounds very exciting. Sarcasm. You might remember your engineering notebook. You're supposed to write down a, a document of this assignment. And so whenever you see an introduction, or, or a paragraph of text, you should be taking a note from that. I would say a note or two from each paragraph. It looks like one paragraph here. So I would say one or two notes. Um, I'll let you read that yourself, but then in the, in the next video, I'll show you what I wrote for that. Then there's resources here. Um, activity 1.1.2, that is a document that you have to open. And then understanding thread notes is another document with information. You're gonna have to look at that. It just occurred to me, that this assignment 112, which is the correct assignment, it requires resources from the first assignment 1.1.1. So we're not gonna do this assignment, but we are gonna get the resources, um, the introduction and the resources. Uh, these resources we're going to use in the assignment. And so what you do um, in this case is you open up a resource, you read it, you look at it, there might be notes take that you need to take from it. I will let you know when that happens. Um, it doesn't happen every time. Here's another resource for you to open up and look at. Um, may or may not have to take notes. I'm pretty sure these two PowerPoints, yes, I remember that those you're gonna take notes on and I'll show you what I mean in the next video. Um, and then there's these other, other resources. So if I'm remembering this correctly, it looks like, what is there, six resources? I think you take notes on like two of them but I'll, I'll remind you what that is. And then that's it. We're not doing this assignment. 111 simple machine investigation. All we're getting is some information from the introduction. And anytime you see a definition that is, is, is bold, you can click on it. And that's a good way to cheat and get, you know, I, I, don't want, I don't know what notes to write down. Well, you can click on these and they give you, give you easy notes for you to put in your notebook. And then, like I said, the resources. So we're not doing this assignment, but we're using the resources, and then we're going to do this assignment. And so in this case, there is a document that you have to download. Now, in my screen share, I don't think you can see the document that I'm downloading and opening. I think I'm going to have to change the screen share. Let me try it again. Nothing happened. 
Hang on, I'm getting there. Let's see. Please let me know if you cannot see Project Lead the Way Engineering Activity 1.1.2 Simple Machine Practice. And uh, this is the act, these are the actual problems. And I'm not going to go over these in detail. Like I said, this is just sort of an overview of the assignment. I'll make another video where I go into detail. But basically, these are problems. And you, you notice it says one, two, three. That looks like three problems. It's actually not. One, two, three, it's just three parts of one problem. I don't like the way that they lay that out. And I'll show you what I do in a little bit. Look, here's four, five, six. That's not three more problems. That's one more. Uh, seven, eight, nine, that's another problem. Number 10, 11, and 12, and 13, all that is one problem. Number 14, 15, 16, 17, one problem. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, one problem. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one problem. Actually, I think I went too far. Um, but anyway, the point is that there are multiple parts to each problem. It looks like a lot more than it is. doesn't mean it's not a lot of work. It just looks like it's a lot more than it is. So I'm going to stop that share, and I'm going to go back to my original page, which is this. And I'm going to try to wrap up this video so I can start the next one. But in review, um, on the Schoology course page, start here, go to the announcements, look at the announcements, go back to the course page, Project Lead the Way, Principles of Engineering, look at that. I need to give you a username. You already know the password. Um, if you remember your password from last year, then, then you can probably already get in. But I'm going to stop this video now and start a new one where we talk about the engineering notebook.